False scarcity continues to worsen in Lagos, Ogun State, Abuja and some other parts of the country despite claims by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC Limited, that all issues have been resolved. Recall that last week, the spokesperson for NNPC, Olufemi Sonaye, issued a press release stating that all factors responsible for false scarcity had been resolved and there is an excess supply of petrol in the country. However, observed in Lagos, four stations are selling petrol for as high as 850 Naira to 900 Naira per litres in locations such as Maryland, Ikeja, Agege, Iyana Ipaja, and other outskirts of Lagos. In Abuja, long queues are observed at filling stations along Abuja Airport Road, Lube, and Nasara Abuja Road. In addition, black marketers stood along the way, selling to worried motorists for as high as 1,500 per litre. The Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN, said the petrol scarcity currently spreading to more states across the country will take at least two weeks to normalize. This is even as the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NPCL, insisted that it has adequate stock of the products. However, the public relations officer of IPMAN, Chinedu Okadike, said the product is not available in the country. He said it has become a bit of a challenge to source the product because most refineries in Europe are undergoing turnaround maintenance. Okadike also blamed the acute shortage in supply on importation bottlenecks and the slow pace of marketers. License renewal by the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, NMDPRA. He disclosed that only 1,050 marketers out of 15,000 have had their licenses renewed. The situation is there is no product. Once there is a lack of supply or inadequate supply, what you will see is scarcity and queues will emerge at filling stations. On the part of NNPCL, which is the sole supplier of petroleum products in Nigeria, they have attributed the challenge to logistics and vessel problems. Once there is a breach in the international supply chain, it will have an impact on domestic supply because we dip in on imports. I also have it on good authority that most of the refineries in Europe are undergoing turnaround maintainers. So sourcing petroleum products have become a bit difficult. An NPC group CEO has assured us that there will be improvements in the supply chain because their vessels are arriving. Once that is done, no mousey will return. This is because once the 30-day supply sufficiency is disrupted, it takes two to three months to restore it. When I was coming back from Zaria on Saturday, so I went to the park to, to enter a vehicle from the park. But I, because of the fuel scarcity, there was no uh, passenger. Nobody wants to travel. The driver wanted to buy uh, fuel. He branched uh, in a filling station to buy fuel. And people were plenty there. There were plenty cars there to, to buy uh, fuel. But suddenly they said no fuel again. They stopped selling fuel. So we have to just turn back. Understand? We have to just to turn back and, and, and the driver has no option than to get a fuel from black market. This issue is very, very bad. Nigerians are facing this challenge and it's very, very terrible. So my own opinion is that government should look into this issue very well and come up with lasting solution that will eradicate this issue. If uh, something is happening in a place and they have king, the whole ch blame channel to the king. Now, as it stands now, government knows the suffering because they are they have agents and um, commissioners, people that they have put in place to watch over those things. So, as it stands, the fuel increment is not even the problem, but the scarcity before the increment has been causing a, a, a hardship for the masses. Now, adding scarcity to it, that means you are no longer you don't want to even kill somebody. You want to kill the person and bury the person yourself. Because the issue now is to even leave your house, to leave your house with just two thousand naira is a risk. Because one, if you leave your house with two thousand naira, you will not eat the whole day. Because even transportation will swallow up the two thousand naira, and you never have change, and you will be holding yourself. So even working salary work of hundred thousand naira will not even 
surface will not even cover up the expenses of men assistance in mind a man having two or three kids surviving with hundred thousand naira calculate per day how much the man will spend not even doing offering in church or helping maybe one or two persons so the country the government is just making it too, too difficult and they are removing help from the faces of earth. Let's say this this Nigeria is, is not longer a place for help because nobody will help anybody. Because even yourself, you cannot longer help yourself. So fuel increment is the fault of the government. Before, if I hold my 500 Naira, I will leave my house, I will come back to town, I will go, I will spend that 500. But now, I have to hold like 3,000 Naira because I have to eat. So it's affecting me. I'm not growing financially. Instead of me increasing, my income, the one I have saved before, is what I'm spending. Reporting from Nigeria State Capital, Soy Bifa Jackridge, Top Accolade News.